Worst Fest isn't all about the beer. It's also about helping the New Braunfels community keep the German heritage alive. The organizations are out and about showing their pride for the Texas State Bobcats today. Worst Fest is fun. You get wrapped up in all the crazy from the food, the live music, and the beer. So I just wanted to see where this awesome tradition started. When it comes to showcasing the German heritage in New Braunfels, Worst Fest is front and center. The two-week festival grabs the headlines, but other groups in the city keep German culture alive year-round without the spotlight. You know, there are people that live here in New Braunfels and have probably lived here all their lives and they would not be able to tell you where Conservation Plaza was. The goal of the Conservation Society is to keep the history of New Braunfels alive by preserving historic houses and artifacts just the way their ancestors left them. A group of people were so upset that things were being torn down to make way for progress that things were being lost. The German heritage was being lost and so the Conservation Society was formed in 1964 to keep the German heritage here in New Braunfels. Worst Fest isn't all about the beer. It's also about helping the New Braunfels community keep the German heritage alive. Even though the Conservation Society has been overlooked at times, they try to become memorable with customers during Worst Fest by selling homemade soup, sandwiches, and desserts. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for Worst Fest. That's why we do it, is during the Worst Fest week to uh, get people to come out and see Conservation Plaza, to know what's going on out here, to visit the buildings and to hear about the history of the, of the museum. Week is where everyone comes together as one. This St. Marcus Festival unites the community and celebrates people for being true to themselves. The festival started with a parade where people from all walks of life from around San Marcos flooded the streets to show their support for the LGBTQIA community. To be proud on the land, that is, um, that, that, that is a rare opportunity, I think. Towards the end, it started to rain, but that didn't stop them much because they continued to party in the rain. There was live music and booths with different organizations showing their support, and San Marcos, Texas Pride wouldn't be complete without the drag queens of Stonewall. I'm Pride Week to us, it's just getting like our straight allies and LGBT family to, like, together to celebrate who we are and to celebrate that it's okay to be different and just have fun with each other. And it's that difference, according to parade goers, that make us all unique. Not everyone on earth was made the same. I mean, at times it can be really scary and sometimes dangerous. Like, by the end of the day, you have to follow what makes you happy. And friends and family are going to leave you, but if I do, then you have a whole group and community of friends and family that are here to support you.